Uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez was like one of the last ones I can think of who tried to go against the machine. She is now very much a part of the machine because if she wanted to maintain her career, she had to tone that shit down. She does okay. still speak her mind when... She uh, speaks I'm... her mind, but notice the way that she does it. She does it the same way any Democrat who does these things does it. They, they pick their ground and they say some shit, but they're not really saying anything that's going to make a change. Right? So her personal brand is that she is going to say what she means when she says what she says. That is her brand. So she is able to be a truth teller when she chooses to tell the truth. Other than that, it's okay for her to be quiet and out of the way. It's her brand, right? Bernie Sanders. Now, you almost hear nothing from Bernie Sanders mm -hmm. because he's at the particular point now where he has tried to lead a crusade. He has tried to bring meaningful registration legislation. He has been mayonnaise bland and he has been spicy mustard hot. <clears throat> he has done all of the things. Now he's just going to march off into retirement. And so he will he got his his position on the uh, councils or whatever it is that he wanted to be on. Right. He's good now. He's you know, so that you can't be in this system as long as these players have been in the system and not become a part of that very same thing because they will get rid of you otherwise. So. You know, I, I just I long for someone who would say something like I say to people, you know, you want to do something about gun reform. What is it that this side over here that's opposing you? What is something that they can agree with and you can work with? And then what is something that these people want? Something that these people want. Be honest with people that you ain't all going to get what the fuck you want. And then to move the ball forward in a clear and deliberate way and stand on that shit. Right. But instead, what we get is. I got to talk to the cities. You got to talk to the rural. I got to talk to the rich. You got to talk to the poor. I got to talk to the rich business people. You got to talk to the rich religious people. It, it's, uh, but anyway. I always narrowed it down to this when it comes to Democrats and Republicans. Republicans are the people who sit there and say, I'm going to lose something from this, so I'm not going to do it. Democrats are the people who sit there and go, how much would I lose from this? I'm not going to lose a lot. We'll do it. If I am going to lose a lot, we ain't going to do it. To me, so, they're more cynical than that. Each side is just saying, what do I have to do to always be the clear alternative to the other side? Right. Mm -hmm. But as always, I mean, like I said about the parties, Democrats are the ones that keep you on the ground. Republican parties are the ones that put bury you. But the Democrat parties is the ones that come around and go, I didn't bury you. I didn't bury you. Yeah, so that's what that's what's interesting, right? Because um, it's like, I know I come across like I'm so against third parties, but I'm really not. I would love to see third parties um, achieve something, but the problem is you're trying to be a third party in this system, mm. and this system's not built for you. And this system's not built for you, right? Mm -hmm. So, really, you're not trying to be a change agent, you're just trying to be an alternative. You, you, you want to go play the same game that's being played, right? So, and it could be, I'm just as idealistic and, and, and probably delusional anyway, because I'm more about the issues in the in the policies side of it. Right. I don't tie myself to the Democratic or the Republican Party or the third party thing. I can't attach myself to any personality because I think everybody is going to have their moment where they disappoint me or there something comes up that, that gets in the way or something like that. So I'm I'm intentionally unattached to shit. You know, because to me, in order for the third party thing to be um, possible, we'd have to move into a parliamentary system, in which case we would have at least four or five parties. <clears throat> um, is America ready or willing to do that? No. 
So that means we're in this system. And this system is a bicameral system where it's just Democrats or it's Republicans. And independents are only spoiler votes. That's all they are. Third, I mean, not independents, sorry, third parties. They're just spoiler votes. That's all they are. It does not mean that it's what they want to be. It's the fact of the system that they're in. Because let's say that, name your third party. I'm not going to even talk about the one who's running right now, but because I love that guy. I just don't like, it's just, it's, it's his timing makes no damn sense. But third party, let's say they win the presidency. Well, you haven't built a third party structure that is able to truly withstand weight or time. So in the off chance that you did uh, secure the presidency, you do not have the Congress. You do not have the state legislatures. Right. You, you don't have the financial structure in this system. So now we will now have a president who cannot pass legislation. We have a president who cannot negotiate because he has nothing to give. He can't say that my party is going to deliver these votes because I am the head of that party. You're the head of the third party. It's not enough of you to swing any damn thing. Not in Congress. So you can only be a spoiler vote. And that's why I get frustrated with that side. But I agree with that side because the Democrats, like I said, are like mercenaries. Their heart is not in this. They're not truly trying to advocate for anyone. They're there to get into position, make money, get their family members in the position so they can make money and build businesses that will now make money because they're in a position to funnel money to those businesses. That's what the Democrats do. Republicans already have the money. They're ideologues. They don't really care about that. So they're in there to say, how do we maintain the social order? How do we keep our people on top? And that's how they play the game. So it's a really bad thing all the way around. But this milkshake is bomb. <laughs> 